Hi there, welcome back to Paganizzo. I'm Byron, and this time we're going to play the third episode. Jewel of the Jukatan. In Paganitsu Part 2, Alabama Smith explored the smeltering, sweltering fire levels of Paganitsu, searching for the magical silver dagger. Along the way, Al discovered the wise and mysterious Skull Oracle. The Skull Oracle told Alabama that he needed to travel back in time and bring the greatest wizard in history, the Vasco, to the future, so that he could banish oh my gosh, forever. Unfortunately, only the dead have the ability to travel backwards in time. Al didn't want to die, so he decided to continue his search for the dagger. When he found the silver dagger, he hoped it would give him the power to defeat Oh My Gosh. Unfortunately, our hero found the power of the silver dagger too great to wield and the weapon turned on him. Oh My Gosh, now possessing the body of a beautiful Aztec maiden, was unfazed, unfazed and continued to lead his barrage of undead forces against the world. Now a ghost Alabama Smith sees Paganitsu as the dead perceive it. The pyramid is a living entity and the walls are quivering biomass. His sense of duty lasting beyond the grave, Al knows he still must defeat Omegash once and for all. Our hero now dead has the ability to travel to the early 1500s and retrieve the magician, magician de Vasco. He must first find his way back to the Skull Oracle, however, so that he might learn how to travel through this, uh, through time. Unfortunately, even the dead can be destroyed, and hazards to ghosts abound in Paganitsu. Uh, this could very well be Al's most dangerous adventure yet. Okay, uh, Paganitsu Part 3 in Jewel of the Jukatan. Let's play the game. Ugh, never in your wildest dreams did you believe your adventures would take a turn like this. Okay, let's save. So we gather emeralds again, like we did in the past. Oh, the blue demon speaks to you. Welcome to the realm of the dead, Alabama Smith. I am one of the many guardian demons you will find while you're here. Many of us carry baubles and these indicate how we will interact with you. Demons like myself holding green baubles with arrows on them will not allow you to pass in the direction opposite of the arrow. That uh, fellow holding that gold bauble is guarding the transdimensional portal to the next area and will not let you pass until you've collected every gem in the area. Okay, so let's get those gems. Hey, okay. And those things would shoot at you. Well, the first level is relatively easy. And there are no ghosts in this, in the third part of Pagamitsu. What would, uh, no, no, keys in the third level of Pagamitsu. Why, uh, what use would have a ghost for keys? Here, see, that would happen if we stepped in front of the thingies. They shoot at us and we're dead. <laughs> More dead than now. Okay, moving on. And we leave the second area. Okay, more Sokoban. First we get all those gems here. Thank you. And now we have to block them. We need two more stones. <clears throat> I think I made a mistake. Not good. So, let's save again. Let's 
bring him down. How do we do it? I need... Yeah, I can do it. Okay. I need one more stone. Bye bye. Okay, so this is room number four. The blue demons speak. Some demons like myself will allow you to push them around the room. Be aware, however, that if you bring one demon into contact with another, they will both disappear. Okay. So we could use those demons to block Okay, how do I do it? Well, I could do it like... No, they don't move. Not all of them move. Boom. Oh, that was stupid. Did I save again? No, I did not save in here. Yeah, we already know that. Thank you very much. Can I move you? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I need the other demons for. And we leave. <coughs> oh no! Aren't you glad <laughs> you use die LTM? Don't you uh, wish everyone did? Is that supposed to be a commercial? Hmm. Okay, so we have to get the emerald and then get the hell out of here. <laughs> da -da -dum, da -dum. Okay. Save. Okay, now I have to get out of here. That was easy. Area number six. Uh huh. Lup, da 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 da. Of course, no. Get away. Leave me in peace. Uh, do you see that purple liquid over there? That's the blood of Paganitsu. When you possess a red bauble, you can use it to get past the blood. Just walk into the blood and the red bauble will do the rest. No shit. Let's try this one. Yeah, okay, it works. Um, oh yeah. I have to walk through here. You can I think you can only carry one of those red thingies. Yeah, leave me in peace. That's rather easy. As long as you don't accidentally use the red uh, pearl in on the in the wrong spot. Okay, room number seven. Oh yeah. It doesn't really matter. We need those stones to um block those creatures like we did with the snakes. Uh, 
And I don't know, I, I think it was Paganitsu 1. Or was it 2? I don't know. Um, doesn't really matter, I think, whether we go up or down. Oh yeah, I'm wrong. I should go up. So I, hit, I had to hit the uh, arrow up key three times. And it actually worked. Okay. So that was area 7. Not too difficult either. Oh no! Wow, I haven't seen an invisible maze like this since my early days exploring Shaganitsu. Come to think of it, I've never actually seen an invisible maze, but I was there. <laughs> but it was there. Okay, you get the idea. So you don't see the maze, but you still have to get all the nifty emeralds. Yum, yum, yum. I don't know. You just have to, you know, try every wall and every eventually you will succeed. I hope at least. <laughs> Yay. What now? We have to go down somewhere. What now? Hmm. Oh, this is new. Okay. Hmm. Since there were no dangers in that level, it was relatively easy. This, on the other hand, is tough. How do I do it? I think I have to do it like this. And that... <sighs> yeah, that was wrong. You know, no! <sighs> they tend to push you around and you die. Leave me in peace. Okay, I wanted to do it like this. Now I will save again. Hmm. What's wrong? What are you doing here? Um. Oh yeah, maybe like this. Ah! But the idea was good. <laughs> How do you like them apples? Okay, what now? Uh, do I need that? Wait, what is the other lizard doing? That's not good. No. No, why did you... No, you're not supposed to run around in a circle. You're just supposed to do it like this. No. No. No! Oh, fuck! No! That doesn't help me. Ok, 
Okay. I think that's better now. No, I didn't want the... I want the blue one. Okay, let's save again. Change the direction of that one. Get all of them. Um, maybe now I would need a red. Ah, stupid. Now I need the, the red pearl. But I wasted it there. Ah, stupid, 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 stupid. This is a difficult level. Did I mention that? Okay, first get the red... No! No fucking way. He's turning, you see, he's running into the wrong direction now and blocking it. This will not work. Stupid. Okay. Uh, try this again. No. Oh, man. Oh, you suck. Okay. Much better. <laughs> I'm too fast. Yeah, this will take a while. Save again. Save again. Now get the blue one. And save again. Small steps. <clears throat> okay, I think now I made it. Oh, we could. Nah, it doesn't matter. Damn, that was tough. Room 9, no fun, really. Okay, this is... Yeah, of course. Excuse me? Oh, oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, shoot me from across the room. No, wrong. Yeah. You need, you know, the dead lizard as a means of cover. Again, a heartbeat too fast. Oh, no, you gotta be kidding me, man. No, I don't want online help. I want to restore. Thank you. Can I? Yeah, okay. Let's save. No. <laughs> What's wrong? I can't wait. That's wrong. Okay. Okay, we will save again. And when the lizard goes down, we follow him. And get all of that dead stuff here. And save. And get killed. Again. <laughs> I'm always a little bit too fast. Okay. Well, no. 
Yeah, now you can't hurt me. What? I didn't. I I didn't take the green. Oh, no. Okay, let's start all over. Why didn't I take it? <laughs> I don't believe it. Oh man, you you gotta be kidding me. Let's do the whole thing again. And die again. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. But you know, now you do know how to do it. And this time, I will take it. Yay, yay, yay. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> no way, man. I'm too fast. Yeah, works better. And now I don't care. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, so this was room number, room number 10, but we don't get an, you know, a cutscene here of the room 10 rooms. That's bad, actually. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Whatever, my friend, whatever. And we use those uh, thingies to block um, the monsters. Why don't you move? Okay. What shall I do with you? Ahuga, uh, haga, haga. Uh, first of all, get this one and this one. Uh, wait a second. Why? No, no, everything is cool still. So cool. Um, I need that, and I need those. That's the end. And now I will leave. Okay, this was much easier than the last room. <laughs> so first, yeah, no, we have to use the boulders to block that thing here. <coughs> So, this was easy. Now we shall save. We can, you know, turn one of those monsters around if we want to. Mistake! Good thing we saved. We have to turn them before we push the boulder. Boom. Mistake. <laughs> okay. You have to, you know, try and error. I think we do it like this. And then we do it like that. Yes. Much better. And we get the last two gems. Gotta go. That brings us to area 13. Okay. How do we do it? I don't know. I... Uh, okay, let's save. We probably again have to use that monster as, you know, a means of protection, of shielding. Uh, 
Um, what? I'm a little bit... Um, I don't really know what to do now. I mean, okay, I could... No, I'm safe. But no, I'm not. Hmm. Yeah. What does the creature do? Okay, it blocks that one. That's cool. Um... Or do I have really... No. Is that really the way? Do I have to time it perfectly? No. Wait a second. No. No. That's not right. What am I supposed to do? Bingo! Ooh, that was cool. Okay. Now I get it. Okay, I, you know, I was a little clueless here, <laughs> but now I know. What? Ah. Uh, huh. That was a stupid mistake. Okay, good thing I saved. Bye bye. Okay, this was room number 13. Oh, I hate room number 14. What shall we do now? This is not easy. Again, we have to use that one as a means of... Oh, screwed up. No, I saved here. I should save. Uh, restore the second one. Ah, I was too slow. Um... Save. Uh, yeah, sorry, my, my mistake. So, we are like this. Uh, the blue demon says, I am the key to the dam. And he's right. So, we save. Again. I was too slow. I think that we already made a mistake here. 
Yeah, because I should take those things first. And now I should save. Ah, too slow. Yeah, but you, you have to move those thingies around. Ah. And put it on the other side of the dam. Da of the dam, dam. <laughs> One more step, please. Um. Yes. Oh no, you don't give me that bullshit now. You suck. Okay, that doesn't work too. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Eins. Tick. Okay, what now? Okay, I think that's it. Gotta go. Yeah, it always was a question of timing. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I don't really know what's this all about. If there's, uh, you know, some sort of pattern to it, I don't really get it. In the end, the exit will teleport around. And I just, you know, accidentally get it. You just have to get all of those. No. Dup, dup, dup. And boom, it teleports around. And you get it. Sometimes you get it in the middle of the level. I don't know what this is all about. <clears throat> so this is room number 16. So, yeah. Mistake. Never push the boulder to the, you know. Yeah, like this. And that. To the, you know, never push the boulder to the end of the map. Okay. What now? Okay, now I think we have to be fast again. Never push the boulder to the border of the map. Border, yeah, that's what, that's the word I was looking for, okay. Yay! Okay, that's the main thing here. You have to uh, get two uh, gems, um, you know, by using cover, uh, that the cover that uh, the monster provides, the lizard, because you only have two stones to block uh, those plants or whatever it is. Wait, I forgot something. Doesn't matter. Take it. And that was area 16. Oh. What do we do now? Okay, we don't have much choice here. Oh, wait. Okay, uh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Let's try this again. Duck, duck, duck. Duck. Of course, we take this one here. And uh, we can go in here. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, didn't I save? Obviously not. So, okay, now we shall save. Because you have to get the monster running. No. No, not there. Nasty. Little thing. Okay, now I get you. No! Oh, you are stupid. Oh, 
Okay, now I get you. Ooh. Okay. No, I, don't tell me I did. I did that. Don't tell me I did that. No. Okay, now we get it. So we obviously have to block that thing here. What now? No, wait. Uh <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't think of that. You suck. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Okay, um... What? Where's the exit? It's there. No! Ugh. I'm a little confused here now, as you might see. I cannot move that one. Or I would die. What now? I can change this one. And this one. And I still need one more boulder. It's okay, I do have one more. Okay. Hmm, that was a little tricky too. Oh no, more Sokoban. Hmm, we don't have much choice here. Okay. No, we do have a choice. was a mistake. So I go up here. And I think I push that one down. Take that one and get the hell out of here. <clears throat> okay, uh, what now? Oh wait, I could go here, but now I'm trapped. I could walk here and here. And block that one. Okay, that seems to work. I could get go down here. Take 
that. No, mistake. And now I need one uh, pearl to turn that one around, but I still need uh, to turn um, the green pearl in front of the exit, so that's not how you do it. <sighs> no. Okay, I don't have much choice here. No, this, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. Okay, save again. So I have to walk up here and up here and here to give me that. And that's yeah, I'm so stupid. I didn't take the blue pearl. G. Reload. Okay. Move this one around. Okay, I could do it like this and that. And now I turn this one, take the blue pearl. No! Ah, screw you! But the idea was good, wasn't it? Maybe I have to turn this a little bit around. Okay, we shall save again. And now we go down. Which way do I have to go? Maybe like this? Yes, that's the exit. Whew. Level 19. Again, we have to use that guy here for protection. No, yeah, don't do it. Get out of my way. Thank you. Um... Okay. La 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 la. Um. Okay. There's the exit. We have to wait for the lizard. <laughs> okay, that was close. I should have saved somewhere between. 
Okay. Next room, area 20. Oh, see? I don't know, there are some blocks materializing here. Let's save. Now we have to work our way down here. Okay, that doesn't work. No. No, I need more. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, that one would shoot me now. Thank you. Okay, we can leave. Finally, the last level of the last game. My quest is nearly completed. Um, yeah, sorry, there's another room. Hmm, strange. Yeah, so again, try to avoid that spitting monsters here. And now we somehow have to set them free. Or, you know, get them running. <laughs> ha! Okay. Um, where's the exit? Down here. Leave me in peace. Now I get it. No, don't sh ah, he pushed me. Um Let's try this again, shall we? What the fuck? No. No. Okay, you should continue your way. You should get out of my sight. We need one lizard running. Okay. And now we can turn that one and leave. Okay. And we are back at the Skull Oracle. Skull Oracle, I have returned. So that you can... So that I can send you back in time. Do you realize how much time you've wasted? Yeah, we could have done that in the middle of the last game. I know. I offered to kill you and send you back in time before, but no, you had to go and find a silver dagger instead. Yeah, but I didn't want to die, you know. I thought there was another way. Now you're dead anyway. You've gained nothing and oh my gosh, is wrecking havoc all over the world. Yeah, but it was worth a try, wasn't it? Look, just send me back in time, will you? <laughs> Go then, find Ivasco and tell him that he is needed to defeat Oh My Gosh in the future. He is our only hope. Oh, that reminds me of Maniac Mansion 2. Paganitsu, 1521. 
seen any Spaniards lately? Oh, we're still a ghost, okay. Oh my gosh, it's oh my gosh! Or is it oh my gosh? I don't know. Greeting, spirit. I came to investigate the bright flash, and here you are. Are you here for a reason? Did you come to see my father, the great Devasco? El tries and tries to speak, but his voice makes no sound. Finally gives up and merely nods assent. My name is Mariah. I'll guide you to the village and my father. So obviously there were Spaniards, if her name is Mariah. Alabama Smith follows Mariah down to the village at the foot of Paganitzo. Along the way, she explains that Cortez Spanish soldiers had attacked the village during the previous, previous week. Devasco used his magic to protect himself and Mariah, and now they are the only remaining survivors. Couldn't he use his magic to defeat the Spaniards? And how could her name be Mariah? I mean, Cortez just came to that village, so there were probably no Spaniards before there. For his arrival, and how could she be named Mariah then? Hmm. Okay. Tevasco's discount magic. Father, there's a spirit here to see you. Another one? That's the third one this week. Oh well, send it in, Mariah. Well, spirit, I suppose you have some grand purpose for visiting me. Mm-hmm. You can't talk, and you expect me to bring you to life so you can ask me for help. Mm-hmm. And I also suppose you believe your cause is so righteous that I will help you free of charge. Right the third time. El nods meekly. <laughs> Uncomfortable silence. <clears throat> hmm. More unfor uncomfortable silence. Nice candle holder in the background. Well, I probably shouldn't, but your clothing has piqued my curiosity. Hey, back to life. Our hero once again alive tells the Vask of his terrible incident with the crystal rose and of the horror visited upon the earth by the vengeful oh my gosh. He also tells about the skull oracle sending him back in time to retrieve the Vasco so that the world might be saved. Oh, do I have to hit the button here? No. We just have to wait. Devasco listens to El's story intently and then is silent for a while. He agrees that he must travel forward in time to stop the menace of the deity he calls Tokupaga. Devasco had just spent the previous week preparing a time travel spell potent enough to carry two people. He had planned to use it to rescue Mariah and himself from the Spaniards. because Al could possibly damage the course of history as a living being in the wrong era, and because all of his remaining time must now be spent preparing a spell to defeat, oh my gosh, Devasco tells Alabama, that there will be no time to prepare a new time travel spell. Maria sadly must be left behind in the year 1521. Well, you have all the time you need to prepare a new time travel spell. I mean, it's time travel. You arrive at the date that you want to. It doesn't matter whether you travel now or tomorrow. Tivasco tells Alabama that in order for his banishing spell to work on Oh My Gosh, the God must first be ejected from his host body. Unfortunately, no human has the willpower to escape the possession of a god, so El must kill the body while Tivasco works his way through the lengthy spell casting. The wizard presents our hero with a sacrificial dagger to do this deed. Hopefully it's not a silver one. Horrified, Alabama accepts the gleaming weapon. He did not tell Devasco that the host body was his daughter Mariah, five centuries from now. 
Our hero keeps his mouth shut and Devasco tells Mariah and Al to leave him alone for a few days so that he can prepare the banishment spell. During the next few days, while Devasco prepares his spell, Mariah shows Alabama the various relics of Aztec civilization near Paganitsu. Alabama furiously commits everything to memory so that once he returns to the 1990s, defeats Oh My Gosh, saves the world and escapes Paganitsu, he can get rich by using this information to further his archaeological pursuits. Despite Alabama's rampant avarice, he becomes good friends with Mariah. Then, on their last night before he leaves, she invites him to watch the moonrise with her from the top of Paganitsu. <clears throat> that distant sparkling you see is the moon reflecting off of the Yucatan River. My people have a legend that it is a magical jewel of the Yucatan, shining in the light of the full moon. So this is how this episode got its title. It's very beautiful, Mariah, like you. Oh, what a pickup line. But it works. Yeah, I shall I shall try that. <laughs> Mariah, there's something I feel you have the right to know. Oh. Here comes the fun part. You already know that you must be left here while the Vasco and I travel into the future. Of course, my father's spell can only carry two people, and if we leave you behind, you're liable to damage the natural course of history. Well, then wait a week, prepare another time travel spell to carry three people into the future. Hmm. Yes, well, it gets worse. Devasco told me that I must kill oh my gosh's host body, and that host is you. Ooh, ooh. Oh. Sorry, stunned silence. If that is so, then you must do as my father says. The fate of the human race takes priority over our friendship. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Yeah, that's what Spock said. Does my father know of this? Nope. No. Good. Please don't tell them, Al. It would break his heart if he knew. What do you find out when we confront, oh my gosh? No, my father must concentrate completely on the banishment spell in order for it to work properly. He will not be able to perceive anything else. That's convenient. Well, that's a long, you know, a long sequence here. My father will not know I have been killed until after the spell is cast and the battle with Oh My Gosh is won. <clears throat> the next morning, Alabama says goodbye to Mariah and then meets Devasco in his hut. Devasco mumbles some arcane syllables, gestures wildly, and the time travel spell is cast. Boom. Mariah hides deep within the bowels of Paganitsu, hoping that the Spanish soldiers will not be able to find her in there when they return to attack the village again. Unfortunately, the Spanish are very thorough in searching for survivors and eventually find Mariah and brutally murder her. No, boo. The Skull Oracle's Chamber, 1991 I must begin my spell immediately. Tokupaga will sense my power and appear shortly. Remember, you must kill the host or my spell will fail, sealing the fate of the world. I wish you luck, Alabama Smith. You cannot pass. Well, well, well. If it isn't the two humans in all of the history, I hate the most. 
First, you have the wizard Ivaska who trapped me in a piece of jewelry for five centuries. Yes, and over here we have part-time treasure hunter and full-time idiot Alibaba Smith. <laughs> oh, he don't like me. No doubt you've met Devasco's lovely daughter, whose body this is. Poor Devasco, he's so busy casting his spell, he doesn't even know he's ordered you to kill his own daughter. But she's dead already, right? She's in there, Alabama. I can feel her love for you. Ugh, it's sickening. She's afraid, Alabama. So afraid. What now? Oh, Mariah, I... I can't kill you. Ha! You fool! You should have attacked me when you had your chance. What now? Prepare to feel a uh, pain so great that you will plunge the dagger into your own heart just to escape the pain. She's a Jedi. Oh wait, didn't you pay your energy bills? Mariah? Oh, Alabama. Such irreverence. How dare you eject me from your body without my permission? For that you shall die horribly, woman. <coughs> Suddenly the Vasco completes his spell and a hole to the nether hells opens at his feet. Like a magnet, oh my gosh, is drawn against his will toward the evil emanating from the pit. Damn, the end sequence is longer than the whole game. No! No! Oh. He rises again. Ha! Your spell failed, old man. My power is too great for you. Tokupaga, I defeated you once when I trapped you in the Crystal Rose. I shall defeat you again. Uh, you must leave this world once and for all. Never. Your spell has not the power to banish me. If you will not leave this world on your own, then we shall leave together. Yeah. Father? Mariah, are you all right? I love you, Mariah. And I love you, Alabama. At last, it's all over. Yes, Tokupaga is defeated and the world is saved. But I grieve for my father, Divasco. I'm sorry. But Mariah, Divasco said that the host would be unable to push Oh My Gosh out. How did you do it? I can answer that, Alabama Smith. Oh, the Skull Oracle. Skull Oracle, you've been awfully quiet during these proceedings. Well, oh, I was asleep. But Mariah was able to eject, oh my gosh, because he had very little power. Excuse me? I thought he was strong and stuff. A god draws strength from the beliefs of his followers. And these days nobody believes in, oh my gosh. So Mariah's love for you was enough to chase, oh my gosh, from her body. Uh, excuse me, and the Havoc? In fact, oh my gosh, his powers were so decrepit he could not even leave Pakanitsu. I thought he, you know, he wrecked havoc and stuff. Well, what about all those terrible things you said he was doing to the outside world? I uh, lied to you because I wanted you to get, oh my gosh, out. Excuse me? What? WTF? That miserable god was making all kinds of ruckus in here, when all I wanted to do was peacefully rest. Ah, well, I lost both the silver dagger and the crystal rose, but you found the love of a beautiful woman. Yeah, but I gained the love of a beautiful woman. That should be enough. So I guess the adventure wasn't a total flop. Actually, it was a success. Skull Oracle, would you please transport us to the surface? Certainly, Alabama. 
And thank you for the service you have done for me. Yeah. Hmm. Uh oh. What is what's wrong? The crystal rose and the silver dagger weren't the only things I lost in my adventure. I also lost the keys to my helicopter. Helicopter? What does this mean? It means we have a long, very long walk ahead of us. Let's get going. Along the way I'll tell you all about helicopters, hamburgers and credit cards. Well, maybe not credit cards. You sneaky little... The end. Yay, we've completed uh, Faganitze. Yeah. Thank you for playing Paganitsu. We hope you enjoyed it. Congratulations, you have achieved a score high enough to be listed among the pros of the pyramid. Please type in your name and press enter. Your score was 52,568. And I'm Byron. And I'm better than Alabama Smith, Commander Keen, Duke Nukem and oh my gosh himself. Okay, so this was the third part of Paganitsu, Jewel of the Yucatan. It was fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed that Let's Play as much as I enjoyed playing the game. So, thank you very much for watching, and have a nice day.